the International System of Units. The SI system of units is used extensively since it has become the world's standard for measurement. Consequently, the rules for its use and some of its terminology relevant to mechanics will now be presented. We begin with prefixes. When a numerical quantity is either very large or very small, the units used to define its size may be modified by using a prefix. Some of the prefixes used in the SI system are shown in this table. Each represents a multiple or a sub-multiple of a unit, if applied successively, moves the decimal point of a numerical quantity to every third place. For example, 4 million newtons is equal to 4,000 kilonewtons. Or 0 0.005 meters is equal to 5 millimeters. Notice that the SI system does not include the multiple deca, 10, or the submultiple centi, 0.01, which form part of the metric system. Except for some volume and area measurements, the use of these prefixes is to be avoided in science and engineering. Rules for use. The following rules are given for the proper use of the various SI symbols. The first four are already written. Number one, a symbol is never written with a plural S, since it may be confused with a unit for second. So never written with a plural S. Number two, symbols are always written in, lower, in lowercase letters with the following exceptions. Symbols for the two largest prefixes shown in the previous video, giga and mega, giga and mega, are capitalized as G, capital G, and capital M, respectively. And symbols named after an individual are also capitalized. For example, N, as in Newton's, named after Sir Isaac Newton. Number three, quantities defined by several units, which are multiples of one another, are separated by a dot to avoid confusion with prefix notation, as indicated by Newton equals to kilogram times meter per second squared, is equal to kilogram times meter times second to the power of negative 2, and m dot s is meter per second, whereas ms is millisecond. Number four, the exponential power represented for a unit having a prefix refers to both the unit and its prefix. For example, micronewton squared is equal to micronewton all squared, which is equal to micronewton times micronewton. Likewise, millimeter squared is millimeter times millimeter. Number five, Physical constants or numbers having several digits on either side of the decimal point should be reported with a space between every three digits. Space between every three digits. Rather than a comma. So for example, if you have 73,569.2 Four to seven. As you can see, there are spaces instead of commas. Avoid using commas. In the case of four digits on either side of the decimal, the space is optional. So, for example, 8,537 or 8,537. Furthermore, always try to use decimals and avoid fractions. For, for example, 15.25 not 15.104. Number six, when performing calculations, represent the numbers in terms of their base or derived units by converting all prefixes to powers of 10. The final result should be expressed using a single prefix. Also, after calculation, it is best to keep numerical values between 0 0.1 and 1,000. Otherwise, a suitable prefix should be chosen. For example, 50 kilonewtons times 60 nanometers is equal to 50 times 10 to the power 3 newtons times 60 times 10 to the power negative 9 meters. Which number 7 Compound prefixes should not be used. For example, kilo microsecond. Kilo microsecond. This is wrong. Kilo microsecond should be expressed as millisecond, since one 
kilo microsecond doesn't make any sense equals to 1 times 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power negative 6 seconds which is equal to 1 times 10 to the power negative 3 seconds which is equal to 1 millisecond. Why complicate things? Number 8 with the exception of the base unit, the kilogram, in general, avoid the use of a prefix in the denominator of composite units. For example, do not write newton per millimeters, but rather kilo newton per meters. Also, meter per milligram should be written as mega meter per kilogram. Number nine, although not expressed in multiples of 10, the minute, hour, and so are retained for practical purposes as multiples of the second. Furthermore, plane angular measurement is made using radians. So radians, uh, degrees will often be used where 180 degrees is equal to pi radians.